Question three, select all the expressions that are equivalent to four to the 10th power. So some of these might seem a little bit far-fetched. Um, these both have base of two in them, whereas this one has base four. Um, but we just need to think about our exponent rules. So if we have four to the seventh times four to the negative three, that just means that we are taking that same base and we're gonna add these two exponents together. So seven plus negative three, which is four to the fourth. Now, if the bases are the same, we can just compare the exponents. And so this one would not be equivalent to this one. If we have four to the fourth over four to the negative six, remember that's the same thing as subtracting those two exponents, or you can think about moving this one because it's a negative exponent, moving it up. Um, this would be four to the fourth minus a negative six. And when you have minus a negative, this becomes positive. So four to the four plus six is four to the 10th. So this one would be uh, an appropriate equivalent expression. So let's look at the ones with two up here. Again, when we're multiplying the same bases, we add the exponents. So we would keep the two and we would add the five and the two, and that would be seven. All right, now, this one is four to the 10th, whereas this one is two to the 20th. So I'm going to do a little bit of reworking, and I'm going to take this four, and I'm gonna, change it so that the base of four is the same as the base over here. So I know that four is the same thing as two squared. And so I can put this part in parentheses and then I'm just gonna drop this exponent down here too. And I know that when I take a power to a power, we multiply these two together. So this would be the same thing as two to the power of 20. And so this would also be an equivalent expression.